Youth Pastor Alex here, and I have a question for you. What do you think the most Christian game of all time is? Do you think it's the Bible game? That Guitar Hero ripoff called Guitar Praise? Maybe even Dream Daddy. All those games are very Christian, but I think I know the most Christian game of all. We're looking at a game that spreads the word of God by annihilating the entire demon population of hell. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a crusade! The first Doom redefined the first person shooter genre and inspired pretty much every single FPS that came after it. Not only that, but it's the first debut of Doom Guy, the Crusader himself. Legend has it is that he was created by Seraphim and literally sent out on a mission to exterminate all of hell. So he's literally created by angels to obliterate SATAN! He's also regarded as the Doom Slayer in Doom Chapter 20 verse 16. And while the story of the first, second, and fourth games are almost non-existent because the developers found it wasn't important. And since when have you ever needed a reason to kill some demons? The answer is never. The worship music in these games are excellent as well. The original game's music is very nice and gets you pumped for demon killing, but Mick Gordon's music in Doom Chapter 20 verse 16 is on a whole other hecking level. So what do Christians think of Doom? For the most part, it's more accepted than something like Grand Theft Auto, but some Christians are hesitant because of the Sanic imagery. I can somewhat understand this, but in these games you're usually in hell, killing demons. Obviously they have satanic furniture, and last time I checked, they didn't have an Ikea in hell. The game is also extremely violent and bloody, but it really doesn't bother me. I can see why others would be put off by it obviously, but that isn't a problem that pertains specifically to Doom. For context, I have a much more negative emotional response when killing enemy soldiers in a game like Call of Duty than I ever would killing demons in Doom. But that's because humans are people, and demons can't be people, silly. Also, if we were being technical about all this, the demons in Doom are interpreted more as interdimensional creatures than spiritual spawns of Satan. For my conclusion, I'm going to be somewhat serious for like 3.2 milliseconds. The Doom franchise's very existence is quite hilarious to me. It's a game about a powerful being descending into hell, but the only sole purpose is to kill as many demons as possible. It's not only silly, but it's somewhat a positive message as well. Some Christians believe that media is continuing to become more evil, or general media is at least gradually becoming more inappropriate, at the very least. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but as long as a game like Doom exists, I can safely say we aren't too far gone. So with great pride and joy, I get to give Doom Chapter 20 verse 16 the very first hallelujah I've ever given on this show. That's because he gave Satan a run for his money, and you could turn hell into a Toys R Us in 2019. Was that too soon? Yeah, that was too soon. Holy crap, we hit 50 subs. I'm incredibly excited and humbled that that many people are interested in this this silly thing. I hope you guys continue to stick around, and if you really enjoy it, maybe consider subscribing or sharing it with other people, because that would mean a lot to me. My goal at the end of the year is to have a thousand subs. Don't worry, it's not some weird like, I'll delete my channel if I don't hit this. No, it's just my personal goal, and my little mini goal is to get 100 by the end of April. And let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see next, what games, what new segments. Let me know anything. I've been liking and commenting back all the time. This is my little mini 50 sub special. I hope you guys enjoyed this church box. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay hashtag blessed.